Bot verification and verified bot developer are relatively new to the realm of Discord. And with all new things, many people do not know what it's about. It's one of the hidden mysteries of today's Discord, but that no more. Because in today's video, I'll explain what it's about. I've only recently been introduced to the program personally, through the awesome bot Logibot, which is almost in 500 guilds, is owned by 1A3, my co-owner of something for everyone. However, through talking to many people and sources, I've gathered information and I can provide that to you today about what the program is. It's something which I want to compile into one video because there isn't a lot of documented information about it currently, so I thought it could be useful for people trying to find out what it's about. I have split today's video up into the following segments. What is Discord Bot Verification and Verified Bot Developer? The history of the program. The controversies of the program. The perks of Discord Bot Verification and Verified Bot Developer. How to get into the program. And thoughts from those who are in the program too. Please let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see in this series, as I'll be doing these once a week on a Wednesday. Before we get into the video, there's a couple of things I'd like to mention. According to my YouTube statistics, only 50% of you are subscribed to my channel. It would mean a lot if you could hit that subscribe button, as I try and release four videos a week, especially during the current times of the world. Subscribing is completely free and doesn't cost any money, but it means a lot to creators as it shows they have an audience. Please also make sure that you haven't been unsubscribed because YouTube has been unsubscribing some people recently, according to many people. So make sure you haven't been unsubscribed from my channel too. And also go hit that notification bell if you want notifications for my uploads. Also make sure to leave some constructive criticism on this video in my comment section to allow me to improve in future videos. It's something which I find useful. A lot of people don't like it, but I find it useful so I can improve on future videos down the line. Also drop a like if you enjoyed today's video, let's see if we can get to 500 likes and join both my Discord servers, the links are on screen. However, let's get into the video. Just before we get into the first segment, make sure to go check out free daily giveaways. It's today's subscriber shout out, so make sure to go check them out. I'm pretty sure their giveaways are completely legit, so if you potentially want Nitro, make sure to join with the link on screen. I do this occasionally to help out people that watch my videos and have helped me too, because it means a lot that people are watching my videos and I know the struggles of growing a Discord server. So anyways guys, let's get into the first segment on today's video. Discord Bot Verification and Verified Bot Developer was a program introduced recently to allow developers and bots to flourish on the platform. Discord wanted to recognise that people had worked hard on their bots and in their own words they wanted to recognise that hard work and allow users to be able to find your bot in the world and know that you're legit too. Verification for bots and developers was a big step in the evolution of Discord which is becoming increasingly more corporate and formal. Verification was a means that allowed Discord to release features to give developers more control on the platform which I'll talk about later in the perks section. The program was designed to allow bots to safely grow in orders of magnitude larger than they currently are whilst protecting the privacy and security of users on Discord. Verification would be a requirement for bots in over 100 servers from October 7th 2020. So try and get in your application whilst you can because it would definitely help you at the moment if you have a bot that's in over 100 servers to apply today and unless you're verified you will not be able to grow your bot anymore past that date. At the moment there is time to allow people to sort this out and get organized before that date when requirements will be enforced and people have to apply before their bot can grow past that mark. There's a bright future for the program with things such as privileged gateway intents being a thing and people being able to apply for them too once in the program. It also helps stop fake impersonator bots and copycat bots like those that try and impersonate me6 and dino. Anyways, that is a brief understanding of what the program is about. There isn't too much to it and it's very specific to bots and developers. However, there is also a little brief history which I'll get into in the next segment. So let's go over to that. The program was initially announced on the 7th of April 2020, where Discord announced the future of Discord bots. Around this time, we saw big name bots such as Me6 and Groovy becoming verified, with both speculated to have been the first bot verified on the platform, which is public. However, after reaching out to a Discord employee, for privacy reasons, they weren't allowed to tell me which was the first bot to be verified. Almost initially, in Discord developers, the team running the program started offering support, and if you need help with regards to this, join the Discord on screen for more help and advice. The program saw no particular changes for months, except the varying wait times until the 17th of June, when changes to the program emerged which prevented people from receiving the Discord Verified Developer Badge after the initial acceptance of the bot into the program. Alongside this we saw that upon acceptance into the program, many accounts or bot aspects were frozen, such as the ability to change your email address, the ability to change the bot name, and the ability to transfer ownership to a team. As of today, hundreds if not thousands of bots are verified, and many people have the verified bot 
support developer badge on their profile, as you can see in the background. With the program being so new, there is not much history behind it, and hence the section is much shorter than usual, compared to the Hype Squad Explained or the Discord Explained or the Discord Nitro Explained, which you should totally go watch, it's all on one playlist. Anyways, with that being said, there is a little bit more controversy. So let's go over to the next section, which shows the controversies of the program. This program has had slightly more controversies than other programs previously explained on my channel, especially for the short period of time that it's been around. One of the main controversies, which a particular source told me about, was that Discord were forced to change the makeup of how the Verified Bot Developer badges were given due to people buying and selling badges within the community by adding people to bot teams so they could obtain the Verified Bot Developer badge. As a result, badges would not be given to people who were added to the bot team after a bot was verified to prevent further selling of badges. There has also been reportedly bot for bot servers so that you can increase their guild presence to become verified or receive the badge. If you do see this happening, you can report it to the Trust and Safety team at Discord by using the link on screen. Many people were upset at the fact that Discord required identification upon application for acceptance into the program. However, Discord outlined, alongside with that identification partner Stripe, that the information is only accessible by a small group of employees, fewer than 10, that they don't keep data for longer than they need to, and that the use of the data is outlined on the GD PR, C, Rectal 47, as well as the CCPA, CalCiv code 1798.105 brackets, D brackets, brackets, 2 brackets, brackets, dot. With this, there is a limited form of personal identification. However, I will cover this later in the video. Although this is not a controversy directly, there is a huge backlog of applications, leading to waiting times of even up to four weeks, past the initial estimate. However, this is most likely due to the situation globally and the increase in demand for the program. Program. The perks of the program are not extravagant, but do exist. The program is designed mainly to provide a pathway for bots to be further developed on Discord. The current perks are as follows. You've got the verified bot tick, as you can see here. So if I go here, it says verified bot. Verified Bot Developer Badge. As you can see here, if you click this, it takes you to an article all about bot verification and data whitelisting. However, people only get this badge if they're on the team prior to the bots being accepted into the program. You will also have access to Privileged Gateway, you can apply for it, and more information will arise on that at a later date, and the ability to grow a bot past 100 servers from 7th of October 2020. These are few and far-fetched currently. However, there are some perks that I would like to see. So if a Discord employee is watching this, and I know a few have seen my videos before, here are my suggestions. Have a verified bot badge for servers, so people know if it's an official support server for a bot. What I mean by this is have maybe that badge up here too, like the one that you have on the profile, but put it up here, like partners get and verified servers get too. Also, potentially have a special exclusive server for bot developers to be able to discuss directly with the team in a similar style to the partner server and Hype Squad events. Currently, there are only unofficial ones, such as this one in particular down here. If you want an invite to this and you're currently in the program, DM me on Twitter at custom name with three E's at the end. The link's on screen and description. Anyways, that's all of the perks that the program actually gives you and those are all my suggestions. But the next part of this video is a segment about how to get into the program. So let me go over to there and explain on how to get into the bot developer program. To get into the Discord bot verification program, you must already have a bot in over 75 servers. Upon the 75th server, Discord will send you an automatic system message to apply to begin verification. You can already get this link via the system message or go into your developer portal, and it's not accessible from anywhere else. You can see an example of this message on screen now. Um, as you can see here, it says system at the top, so you know it's officially Discord, so that is one way, and down here it says basically that it's from the Discord team. I don't have an example of the banner on top of the developer portal, but you can find it in there too. Your bot also must follow the practices that Discord promotes. Basically, you must have a legit and good faith bot, which is sensitive about who has access to the bot, the team, and the data. And remember, verification is completely free on Discord and Discord will not charge you personally for it. When applying, you'll be asked for your identification, and there are only a few select approved forms of verification allowed depending on your country. This will be through the application called Stripe. As you can see here, I'm on stripe.com. If you want to see what forms of verification are allowed for your country, you can go to the link which is on screen or in the description to find out. For example, country United Kingdom, they accept passport, driver's license, ID card, resident permits, citizen's card, electoral ID, and validate UK. Whereas in the US, they accept these forms, passport, passport card, driver's license, state issued ID card, resident permit ID, US green card, border crossing card, child ID card, NYC card, US visa card, and birth certificate. Anyway, 
states, the application process apart from this is straightforward and it's a collective of questions to answer. Now I'm going to go to some developers which own a bot which is verified, which are going to give you their opinion on their program. So enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you at the end. So I personally think that the verified bot developer program is a great program for the bot developers to show off what they made since does take a lot of time to make a board and it's always great to get some respect for what you've reached or done here on discord or anywhere else really so yeah it's really just it just gives you a feeling of being respected by the discord community by having that badge on your profile and of course it brings new people to the attention of your board which is always great since you can always need promotion especially as a small bot developer or a small bot team so yeah those are my thoughts on the Verified Bot Developer program. Verified Bot Developer and Verified Bots was a great addition from Discord since it gives a reason for bot developers to work on their bot and have a goal to head towards. Anyways guys, that marks the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned more about the program. This is a bit different from the other programs because it's not specifically a community program. However, it does allow your bot to grow and develop on Discord more. This is something which a lot of people did ask for, so I hope that it helped you and filled those minds full of information. Remember to go hit that subscribe button, only 50% of you subscribed, hit the like button and comment some feedback, join both my Discord servers, the links on screen and follow my Twitter and Twitch, the links are on screen too. Anyways guys, have an awesome awesome day and peace out.